The Hackensack Meridian Health Division of Organ Transplantation is the comprehensive renal and pancreas transplant center for the flagship hospital of the network, Hackensack University Medical Center. We have four sections of our transplant program, the adult kidney transplant center, the pediatric kidney transplant center, the pancreas transplant center, and the living donor center. So our cutting edge clinical performance strategies allow us to broaden the acceptance criteria for patients and organs when they come to Hackensack Medical Center. We take care of the oldest and sickest patients compared to the average transplant center in the United States. At the same time, we also accept organs four times the rate of the average transplant center, which allows patients to get transplanted faster and have shorter waiting times when they come to Hackensack. The aggressive clinical style of our center focuses on optimizing advantage for patients to get transplanted faster. We want to make sure as many people as possible have access to transplantation, and we want to make sure that they get better access to organs by having a higher organ acceptance rate. The uh, program has seen great growth in the last three years and it's developed because uh, we have been able to really change the culture uh, in the program uh, in the way that uh, live kidney donation is paramount. Uh, we talk to every patient about it. Uh, we talk to all our coordinators and nurses about it. Uh, we want to know that we want people to know that that option is there and is available because there are many, many patients needing a kidney transplant. There aren't enough kidney transplants. But if you come to a center such as Hackensack, which does them quickly and gets good results, uh, the patient is really at an, at an advantage. Partnering with organizations such as Renewal and Dove offers candidates an opportunity to receive a living donor transplant that they may otherwise not have been able to do. Partnering with the National Kidney Registry allows candidates to receive a transplant if they have a willing but incompatible donor. Prior to these organizations being in existence, candidates who had incompatible donors would sit on the deceased donor waiting list, waiting for several years. Now, through these partnerships, they are able to access living donor transplant almost immediately. Over the last two decades at Hackensack University Medical Center, we have seen a multitude of advances in living donor nephrectomy. Specifically, we've seen the transition from open surgery to laparoscopic surgery. However, there have been a lot of other advances that we have pioneered here at Hackensack University Medical Center. We have innovated in terms of advances in single incision surgery, as well as robotic surgery and we've incorporated these into the living donor program to allow the patients to recuperate faster with better cosmesis as well as quicker return to their normal activities. We are continuing to push the envelope. We are one of the first institutions in the world to incorporate artificial intelligence and machine learning to preoperatively plan and intraoperatively navigate during surgery to allow us to do a better operation with fewer maneuvers, fewer complications, as well as improving our overall outcomes. So being data-driven is important because the data is what tells us how we're doing, areas where we can improve, uh, potential for avoiding adverse events or complications, but ultimately being patient and family-centered is what improves patient satisfaction, patient compliance, and our program outcomes. These two concepts are not mutually exclusive. Being patient-centered allows us to focus as a team on building resilience, on building trust and accountability. Everything we do is measurable and is focused on improving our patient outcomes. And if it's not, it's not something we should be doing and we refocus our efforts. When a patient comes in, they wanna know two things. They wanna know how fast am I gonna get a kidney transplant and how well am I gonna do after transplantation. So being able to create that culture here with all of my team members to really understand the patient's needs and their goals has really been the driving success of why we've been able to create huge volumes and great outcomes for patients in our community. We are just hitting our stride and this team is gonna change the future of transplantation.